Hey guys, welcome to my coverage for the Sino Alice 6 months of terror anniversary special. So today, Sino Alice had a live on YouTube and I just want to cover it real quick for you. It was 100 minutes of amazing, but let's just try to cover it in the next few minutes. Uh, to start, the Sino Alice live was actually really fun to watch and so if you have time, I would really recommend you to go check it out. I will put a link in the description box below so you can go do that. I really want to give a special thanks to Steffi, Serafina, Katzan, and also Blasphemous Blasphemous Waffle for being there today and making it happen. They made it like a really fun experience for everyone that was watching, including myself. So I really do hope they make more of these streams often because it was great. So now let me cover some of the highlights that was in the live stream today. Um, all of these changes are specifically for the global server. So all the presents we'll be receiving today will include two upgrade tablet SR, one dragon shackle, and a whopping 650 twilight crystals. Very amazing. You know, at first we were gonna get 400 and then Kat sounds like, that's not enough. Let's give them another 250. So thank you so much. Now we're gonna get 650. So we have a lot going on today, a three hour maintenance. So I'm just gonna run through the list of things that are happening really quickly, and then we'll go into them into detail after. Starting from 1228, we'll be having 11 daily summons. So that means that's 11 free pools instead of the single one that you get every day until January 5th. And then we are getting new active reality chapters, new five-step grimoire for Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella alternative classes, login event until the first, end of year purification sweep campaign until the 31st. We're also getting more Twilight Crystal promotions for those that are purchasing crystals and want extra ones. We're getting two of them and we're getting a new Royal Twilight Crystal Pass. Now I'm not sure what this is, but I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of like crystal drip, a calendar that will give you crystals on a daily basis as long as you log in to claim it. Also, with today's update, we will be getting a rank increase from 180 to 200, so that means I can purchase my Royal User Pass again and make it worthwhile, because for a while there, I was not buying it because I was already at max. It wasn't worth it, right? And then we'll also have our max AP increase from two times to three times. So that means you can bank up to three times the amount of AP when you get extra ones that overflow. This one seems like a no brainer, but we'll also be getting a daily grimoire reminder. So we are reminded to do it every single day. So those are all the updates just in a glance. Now I'm gonna go talk about all of these in detail. So like I was mentioning, we will be getting 11 free summons every single day until January 5th. That's eight days, so that's 88 free pools. It is very amazing that we're getting this. So that's very, very generous of them. I'm not sure what's gonna be in this pool if it's going to be the same ones that's in our daily summon pool right now but either way i'm still very very thankful and i hope everyone will be able to get exactly what they want additionally every time that you pull the 11 free pools until the january 5th you'll be entered into a raffle and in this raffle you can win some really cool like real world stuff the winners will get lenovo tab p11 pro Sino alice grab bag l and a Sino alice grab bag r now it looks like these grab bags are very, very cute. They have an Alice plushie in there and some tote bags of the puppet. So I'm actually really into this. I really want to win the Alice plushie if I can. All this stuff looks really great and I wish everyone good luck in entering the raffle. So a few days ago on their Twitter, they talked about having some super secret classes and now we are getting more information about them. So in these new classes, they're called international class and they're supposed to represent characters like dressed in outfits that are inspired from across the globe. Um, so in the pictures, they have revealed Alice is definitely in an Eastern, like maybe China influenced garb and she's carrying a bow. So I'm guessing she'll be a gunner class. On the other hand, Kaguya looks like she's carrying maybe like a halberd and that means maybe she'll be a paladin. So those are really cool and I'm really excited to see what the other classes are going to look like. Next, we have new Act of Reality chapters coming in. So that means there'll be new chapters to farm and we will be getting more crystals. So that is great for everyone. So that means we'll also be getting new banners and then it's the same banners that we have seen before that they've been teasing. The banners will be Sleeping Beauty, which is Sork, and Cinderella, which is a gunner for their alternative classes. 
We are so fortunate that these banners are going to be five step grimoire banners. So that means there's a much better chance of everyone getting what they want with just a few pulls. The step banner is called patient and donor and you're guaranteed to get one of the featured SR weapons on the fifth step. In a previous video, I've talked a little bit about what I think about these classes and their weapons. So I'm gonna link that down below so you can take a look at it too. Another event that's coming now, a login event bonus from the 28th until the 1st. Apparently we can log in every day to get a bunch of free stuff. You can get up to 30 twilight crystals. And then there'll also be new missions to complete to get upgrade materials, so don't miss out. Okay, there's even more events. So this one is the end of year purification sweep campaign. Everyone collectively will be sweeping with their purification tickets and depending on how many we sweep, uh, we will get different prizes. So at 2 million, everyone will get three purification tickets. At 3 million, everyone will get four upgrade sword SRs. 5 million, everyone will get 500,000 gold. At 7.77 million, everyone will get 220 twilight crystals. I think this is the one everyone's gonna be getting for. And then the last one is at 10 million, everyone will get five dragon shackles. And that's great too. <laughs> I'm running really low on them. So please, please sweep with us so that we can get our dragon shackles. Upcoming also, there's two more Twilight Crystal promotions coming. So this is where payers can get extra bonus crystals for buying crystals. Um, so it looks like they'll be having one on the 28th and then another one on the 31st. So this will be a good time to stock up if you're actually spending money on crystals so that you can get the upcoming classes. Those would be the alternative classes. We're also getting the special international classes. And of course, haven't said this yet, but we're also getting New Year's classes. So the new banner will be called Rite of Dancing Swords. These will feature Red and Alice in their New Year kimonos. Now in the Japanese server, this banner also had Cinderella in it, but during the broadcast today, I didn't say anything about Cinderella, so I'm not sure if she's gonna be in it. But they said in the Japanese servers, Red and Alice kimono classes were actually one of the most popular, and obviously I can see why. They look super duper cute, and I, I am just in love with the happy face of like just little Red in her kimono, and she's just like ready to go beat something up with it. It's very, very pretty. I love how colorful it is. Once we get more information on the Right of Dancing Swords banner, I'll link that down below so you can hear what my thoughts on it will be. Even more stuff coming in, we have Grand Conquest starting and it'll be here on the 28th until the 31st, so it's a very short window. During this window, we'll have three bosses that we can kill. We have Fenrir, the Grieving Spider, and also Sizz that we can fight at a super hard difficulty. Now, I am not sure if this super difficult difficulty is hard or harder than hard, but we can expect it to be quite challenging and we should really prepare ourselves for it. So that is all for the in-game updates. The next portion of this video will be about some Q&As that they did during the live broadcast and I'm gonna kind of just make them really short for you so it doesn't take up too much time. The first question was, when will Aladdin be released? They said Aladdin was actually really not that popular in the Japan servers, but they're surprisingly popular for global. So they're considering kind of maybe pushing up his release date. The next question is, when and what is the next collab? There's going to be a collab in February and they are not going to release information about it until maybe mid-January. They're also planning to work on some collabs for April and June, but there's still negotiation stages, so we're not sure if we're gonna get those yet. But keep your eyes peeled because they really wanna do three collabs in the next six months. This one's a funny one. We asked, did they rig the grand election? The answer is, of course they didn't. Um, Kat claims that his favorite is actually red and hope that we will kind of change our answers next time and maybe red will win. This one's a big one for me. The question is, are they going to fix guild recruitment system? Now, we all know that guild recruitment is not easy and it's actually pretty hard to find replacements and new members for guilds. They did say they got a lot of comment and feedbacks about this, so they are working on it. The idea they're working on currently is a global chat system so more people can get together to chat in-game and also integrate this into their guild recruitment system. So more info I'm sure will be coming soon. This one's funny. Um, are we gonna have a playable Lammy? And the answer of course is no, but you know, they're not gonna shut that door and hopefully maybe they'll come up with some plans for it in the future. So the next question is, when is Rapunzel coming? That's my question too. Uh, unfortunately, Rapunzel is not in the works yet. There's no plans for her to come out anytime soon. So at least, at least six months until she comes. Next question is, 
half nightmare scheduling. When are they going to release the next half nightmares and who are they going to be? They are considering changing the order of releases for half nightmare compared to the Japan servers, but they're still working on this. So we'll get more information at a later time. Um, and then lastly, this is also one that matters to me a lot is, are they ever going to fix matchmaking? So they've claimed that they fixed a lot of it for normal Coliseum and they feel like these improvements are working, but they're currently working on actually fixing the algorithm for Grand Colo. So we'll see what happens and how they're going to improve the system next time. There's also questions about level two arcanas and how they're going to affect us here in the global servers when we get them. They realize there's a lot of controversy on this topic and they're gonna be listening to the community really closely just to make sure they don't step into the same pitfalls again. And the last question is about autoplay. I'm not sure if they mean autoplay by repeated play or like speed up play. They said they're still trying to make a decision on this and we will know when they do. <gasps> Lastly, we have Project Fusion, which is a project where they've been trying to merge the US, EU, and the Asia server together to make a mega server. So the update is, unfortunately, they'll be needing more time for this to complete, and they're scheduled to finish this on January 26th. What it means for us, for Project Fusion, is that we'll be getting more time slots for Coliseum. So instead of the eight that we have now, we'll be having 12. And it also means for Gorilla and Conquest, we will have more time slots for those as well. They're also planning to make some really large scale campaigns for when the merge happens, so we can look forward to that as well. But as a caveat, they also mentioned if you know there were errors or problems that arise, it's possible that the merge will be reverted. That is all for this massive update, this massive broadcast. It was so fun and so much content to cover. I'm gonna post up a recap calendar here so you can take a look at all the things that are happening very very soon and then I'm sure they're gonna post more details about everything in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this coverage for the live broadcast and I hope you'll have a fun time in the new updates and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!